Hello! Oh, welcome. It's been a while. It's been a year. 2020 has been something unreal and I don't know. Um, today is the day that I'm here to show you a new pen. Uh, I'm just laughing because in my head, I don't know what's happening. Um, my hair is still wet. So also someone has decided to leaf blow for hours. I hate the sound of leaf blowers. But anyway, hello, I'm Aziza, also known as Gourmet Pens. And today's video is going to be on a cool drink, a new cocktail of sorts, a cocktail of cool. <laughs> okay, uh, that probably gave it away. Today's pen is uh, this one. This is the, I wonder if I need more light. This is the Sailor Professional Gear. This is number 10 in the cocktail series and it is called the Cure, Cure Azure. So the Cure is for the city in Hiroshima or um, where Sailor manufactured or man started manufacturing. And Azure because that is the cocktail. Now I don't drink, but I'm going to, in the writing sample bit, when we look at the pen in more details, I will share the cocktail that I found online. But if you have a particular recipe, please drop it down below because I'm very curious. And that's that. So this pen was sent to me by Drum Ghouls. Thank you very much, Drum Ghouls. That is available for 272 US dollars. That's the street price. Um, and uh, I'm totally in love with it. So when I first saw the pictures from Sailor, I was like, eh, like it's nice looking, but I was like, eh, I've got two others. I have the Apres Ski and the Tequila Sunrise. And I was like, mm, whatever. Turns out it's actually really way more gorgeous in person than in the pictures. So uh, just like, look at me, look at me. Wait, I'm gonna unlock all this locking. L where's my, there it is. Wait, why does it do this? Okay look at me so amazed so it is a beautiful the cap is a different color to the body the cap is more green the body is a deeper blue with sparkles so <sighs> the sailor box very excite but we're not going to look at it down i mean up here we're going to look at it down there this is the box there's no pen in it because the pen is so <laughs> okay um i'm sorry sometimes when i don't do reviews for a while i forget like how to be normal and then this is what happens but anyway here we go thank you again drum goals let's go look at it because i think you might really like this one and i'm a big sailor fan so this is just really right up my alley the only thing is i don't drink cocktails so um that's fine whatever I, I still think it's fantastic. So let's go do some looking and um, spoiler alert. I really, really love this pen. Okay, bye. Okay, hello. This is the pretty part. Um, <laughs> okay, first the sticker, ink bar, sweet lights. I love it. I am a sucker for stickers and the funny thing is if I have to pick between a place that's going to give me a sticker and a place that isn't I'm generally going to go for the sticker so that's pretty sweet and then oh, okay and then it's a holographic typewriter sticker thank you drum ghouls I am sticker obsessed and this is amazing so here is the box I took the pen out of the box um I don't know if they've changed the boxes, Sailor, or if this is just for the new cocktail series, but I like this one better than the other ones. It just feels a little more, I don't know, sturdy, cool. I'm not sure what the right thing is. So it's the same style though, just the satiny things, the removable bed. Um, here is a cute bookmark type thing that also serves as your North America limited warranty. There is the deets. You get one year from the original date of purchase, and that's that. Another holographic sticker. Ew, interesting. Okay, um, sailor pens come with a little writing instrument thingamajigger, and this is just about your warranty and how to use the pen, like how to fill it. 
If you are unfamiliar with fountain pens, absolutely give this a read. And just so you can familiarize yourself, here a Sailor always includes two black ink cartridges and you know, it's a nice black. I do keep these because I do use them eventually. This pen does come with the little Sailor ink converter. Thank you. And so let's put all that back. Let us do this, put that back. Ah. And Le Pen. You have seen Le Pen. Ah, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing, okay. So, there she is in all her uh, le glory. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out again because what we're going to do is first look at the size of the pen. So, I'm gonna just try and move my light a little. There we go. Um, it's a full size pen. Not a huge pen, I like the size of it. And um, I find it very comfortable for my hand. You know, like, it's, it's, it's a decent pen. So I have a little tray of pens ratty here so that we can have a quick look at how it stacks up in terms of size compared to these other pens. And now I'm realizing my camera's not straight and that's incredibly annoying. Okay, we have the Pilot Custom 823, the Mont Blanc 149, an Esterbrook ST in the regular size, a Platinum 3776 Century. Um, this is actually the Maquillet version, which is like slightly larger than the regular ones, I believe. Here we have our Pro Gear. These are the last couple years, of, like a missing one. But um, these are previous cocktail series pens. This is the Pro Gear Slim. We have a Pelican M400 and a Caveco Sport just for size. And if we want to throw in, I can just toss in a Lamy Safari. So you can see, actually the Safari is pretty big. Um, so it's a full size pen, but it's not huge. So let's move all these out of the way. So this is our pen. Now we can do some intimate details with it. And for that, I'm gonna zoom us back in a little so we can see it. First of all, they have this lime green, like lemon colored, it's, it's, it's a really bright yellow. Um, it's the finial, the clip is just Sailor's regular clip. You have the Sailor gold trim. Um, the cap band says Sailor Japan, founded 1911. The clip is very usable, nice and uh, like liftable, not too tight, and you can slide it onto things pretty easily. The cap and barrel are different colors. So the cap is like a lighter, mm, like a green blue, and the barrel is darker, but it has sparkles in it. So there's no sparkles in the cap. No, no sparkles in the cap. It does have the inner cap thing for your nib, um, but you can definitely see the sparkles in the barrel and the section. You know, the funny thing is I saw these pictures from Sailor and I was like, eh, I don't need this. Like, this is not interesting. And um, now that I have it in hand, it I find it way, way better looking than in the pictures that Sailor put out. It's just much richer, has a lot more color to it, and I really like it. So the cocktail series, um, this is number 10, and it's, the funny thing is they've been releasing more and more of them as, as they release them every year. And I'm kind of glad because like 300 pieces for the, like this one was 300 pieces. And that's just not enough for people. Like we need more than that. So I'm glad this one is 1800 pieces. And it is called the, I mean, we already know this, the Curie Azure. So, um, Curie, I'm pronouncing this wrong. It's, it's the city in Hiroshima where the play, which is where Sailor first started manufacturing the fountain pens. And so I am definitely saying that wrong. I am so sorry. When I switch to the writing sample, I'm going to look up how to pronounce it properly. And the cocktail is the Azure. And the Azure is 
I, I'm not a drinker, so I don't know cocktails. Um, so it's, here's one of the recipes I have found. Tequila, um, citrus liqueur, light blue curacao, and a lemon slice. So I guess the colors make sense. And I think it's really cute, even if you're not a drinker. It's a fun pen. It's super pretty. And the drink itself looks really nice. I mean, I don't know what it tastes like, but it looks pretty. So let's do some writing, shall we? Okay, so the pronunciation, if I'm, uh, if the pronunciation website was right, it's uh, Cure. So I wasn't totally wrong, and Azure is the color. Um, so moving on from that mortifying moment, Le Pen, and if we look at the nib, so they only came with the option of uh, medium or medium fine. I really hate that Sailor does that. Um, like, because the nib is 21 karat gold. It is their two-tone single slit round breather hole. And it is marked, oh, sorry, this is the wrong way. It's marked on the side with HM, so HMF, I have a medium fine. But because the nib is not, like, it doesn't have a, a special engraving, like some of the other special editions. And I'm like, why not make other nibs available for me? Because I really want a Zoom or a Music or even a Broad. But that's okay, because if I can't have those, the medium fine is actually really superb. So let us do some writing. Um, I don't know how to spell this ink name, so I have to keep it in front of me. That's very medium fine for sure. Sailor. What do you think? Is this not? Ah! Sorry. This is the Pro Gear. This is a full size. This is number 10 in the. Tail series. This particular pen is, as we know, the Cure Cure Azure. All right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> this looks really washed out let me let me let me zoom out a bit um okay and it is a 21 carat hard medium fine so i'm just gonna write out medium fine because i'm not and the ink which i don't know how to spell so i have it here again very pretty. It's actually my first time using this ink. It is a Sailor ink. So this is Sailor Manio, and it is Nadeshiko. Or Nadeshiko. Interesting. Interesting color. Okay, so the medium fine is not a wet writer. Ooh. Look at that. Not a wet writer at all. Um, it is well tuned. It is well adjusted. It's definitely a medium fine. Like I can feel that it's more fine than medium. Um, but in true sailor style, performs very well. It is a pretty firm nib, so if you're looking for a nice, soft, gold nib, this is not it. It's not a nail. Like, you can squeeze a little bit of line variation out. You just get a little bit more wetness, but um, definitely not a flex nib, and definitely not a softer nib. It just it doesn't really yield when you're writing. I wouldn't really call it a nail, but it's not soft. And... Hello. Jello. Holding the pen at a funny angle here so that I don't block the writing. 
Oh, boy, this is hideous. This is why I don't use my nibs. Drumgles. And the pen is available at Drumgles for 272 US dollars. I do not receive a commission. I don't, nothing like that. Um, this is not a sponsored review, but they, Drumgles did send me this pen so that I could check it out and share it with you. And I've always had dreams about visiting Drumgles. When I used to live in Austin, um, I had like fantasized about it for a really long time and I just never got around to visiting and I greatly regret that. So one day when the world is safer and the pandemic has cleared up a little bit and stuff is more stable, I will absolutely go visit. And what else can we say? We can do, if you want, you can reverse write. Um, it's pretty crisp, but it's not cutting into the paper. So if you really need like a nice, quick, finer, dry line, you can absolutely use the reverse. And I like it because you can actually write pretty small. I mean, this isn't small. I know there's like needle point, needle point craziness out there, but um, you know, two and a half millimeter height. Probably even smaller if I try. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, let's change the writing angle so we can see it. And then we come back. I like this angle because then you can see the details a little better. So there's that sweet, pretty nib. Look at that tip. Oh boy. Lovely. And you can see the sparkles of the body. Very beautiful. And while we're down here. Oh yes, there's that lemon slice finial. Okay, so we're gonna do this. First of all, huge thank you to Drumgulls for sending this for me. I absolutely love it. I'm smitten and I think it's way prettier than the pictures show. And I'm like, so excited about this. Um, this is the Grand Vizier. It is the cocktail. I know we know all this already. I'm just writing so you can see it on the side. See, not just a little bit more wetness, but definitely a firm nib. But it performs really well. Yay! Okay, so this has been me, Aziza, reporting for myself, because I am Gourmet Pens, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the pen. Let me know what you think. Um, you've seen the other ones. I showed you the Apres Ski and the Tequila Sunrise, but there's a whole bunch of others, like the Angel's Delight and the super hard to get Blue Lagoon, but also like the Mojito and all that. And I don't have those obviously, but I think this is a really beautiful option, and I'm a big fan of Sailor Pro Gear, so, you know, in that regard, I'm biased, and uh, I have quite, a, like, not a lot of them, but I have more than one, more than two. Um, I think I have, like, five now. I have problems. So, thank you again to Drumgles. Thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy it, you know the thing. I'd love if you would like and subscribe and share with all your family and friends and show them this beautiful sailor. And you can find me on all the socials in the next screen and in the description below. So thank you again to Drumgles. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe.